excited this week for when we went to see Paramore on Saturday. We were amazing. I brought back a strangely large amount of confetti and I still don't know why. Um, but on a different note, today I'm going to talk about things that annoy me. First up, coloured pens or pencils or something like that when they're not in colour order. I don't like it because it looks really not pretty at all. Um, I don't I don't really have um, an example to show you of ones that look messy because all mine are nice and neat and I wouldn't purposely mess them up, not even for you. So I but I have a clip of some really nice ones though. Look at that! Beautiful. Also when people fill in crosswords with uh, lowercase letters. It just, it just looks wrong, just no. Um, something that you all might be familiar with, I don't know how bad it is at your, all your schools, but mine's very bad, Year 7s and they're huge school bags. I don't know what they put in them, I really don't. Well they do, they put in all their books, all their school books. What, you get given lockers, you do not need to carry around all your books to all your lessons. So now their bags are like bigger and heavier than them. So whenever they swing them about, they whack into you. And then, because they don't know where they're going, they're always turning around and we're slow in the corridors, just like talking about rubbish, like Twilight or something. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch, Hollister and Jack Wills. I know Jamie just mentioned this already. I kind of think the same as her. I don't really get it, to be honest. You know, just put like a little sort of logo or just the name and suddenly it's like five times more expensive. Don't really get it. Glasses without lenses. Loud music, as in when people play music on their speakerphones, like on the bus or something. No, I don't want to hear your rubbish, thank you. That's what earphones were invented for. Idiot. Talking about music. Um, I don't like bad music, funnily enough. Um, as in all the stuff in the charts at the moment, you know what I mean. Um, you know, how many rock acts are in the charts at the moment? Like the singles charts. Albums charts different because it tends to be the good artists that actually make albums. Most of the acts in the charts, they can't sing. They use auto-tune um, a ridiculous amount and especially live. They're even miming live. I don't know, I can't think of anything less logical than miming to your own music and they can't even play their own instruments. I thought, oh yeah, I have such a passion for music. No, you haven't, shut up. They can't even write their own songs. They say, oh yes, I understand this song so much. It, I, it just portrays my feelings and what I've been through no, someone else has written that for you. You can't feel that. Someone else can't write what you're feeling. So that just doesn't work. And I think that's really sad, really. So, good on people who write their own songs. Even if they don't think what they've written is good, it's still something, you know? But on a lighter note, I'd like to tell you the artist that I like, just for the sake of it, and to maybe introduce you to some new bands, um, if you tend to like the stuff in the charts at the moment. Hope you don't. Um, but yeah, anyway, here goes my list. Deep breath. Muse, Biffy Clyro, Green Day, White Lies, Paramore, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Vida, Band of Skulls, Dirty Seconds to Mars, Kasabian, Foo Fighters, Evanescence, Lost Prophets, Ash, Pack at the Disco, Erasmus, Simple Plan, Wolf Mother, Frank Turner. Phew! Oh, and Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Course not. I think that's most of the things that annoy me. Pretty good. Oh, and if you did watch Miranda this week, Gary's back! No idea what's, what's going to come your way on your Wednesday next week. But hey, who cares? 